We, we do know already that the EPF, so the European Peace Facility, has already delivered arms and equipment to the, the FAMA, the, the armed forces in Mali, but had to suspend it at one point because they were also used together with uh, Wagner, the Russian mercenary. So we do know that there are control mechanisms in place for the EPF, but we also know that there has been quite a lot of criticism towards this instrument for the risk of working um, with armed forces that commit uh, atrocities towards their own local populations. And exactly on this, Nina, yes, there is, <laughs> there is, I mean, everyone has their eyes on Mali. So again, there is very much a, a level of control onto what happens with, uh, with the Bamako government. I wouldn't say that there is the same level of scrutiny uh, with regard to Niamey, for example. So the 25 million, and again, I mean, compared to the money that Europe is giving to Ukraine, much like a Nigerian um, government official say, this is just peanuts. But still, this amount of money that uh, has ended up buying equipment for uh, the FAM, the, the Nigerian armed forces, I seeing what the monitoring and evaluation of humanitarian and development projects in remote areas is, I would say almost equal to none. I mean, it isn't good enough, it isn't... Uh, it isn't trustworthy enough, I find. I wonder the level of scrutiny and monitoring and evaluation that there would be with uh, with equipment, with lethal equipment. So I, I think this is, a, I mean, I agree with Ulf uh, that it was a long time coming, but I struggle to believe that there is going to be the same level of attention in Niger that uh, there has been with Mali. So what you're saying that there is a, there is a risk that the uh, scrutiny will be harder in places where we know that there have been more atrocities than in yep. places um, where we, we don't have the same statistics. Mm -hmm. um, so the idea is then, of course, that the control mechanism should be applied to the same extent wherever it, they are um, being provided. But we're talking about Mali, we're talking about Niger, and now we're, there is also discussion about a new European um, mission in Niger that will be more about logistics. Um, we know that there have been discussions about more European missions uh, starting up in the region at large. But how do we see more of a regional, local approach? We know that the G5 uh, Sahel um, is, is faltering, uh, let's, let's be honest. It's, it's one of these initiatives that we don't really see going anywhere, especially not since Mali withdrew from the G5 Sahel. Do we see any other opening for a regional approach to, this, um, to the problems that we're facing now? Yes, uh, I think the, the build the G5 Sahel in the intention to have a regional approach because what we know and what we find out is that no country can by his only self ag war against these terrorists. They are in Niger, they are in Burkina Faso. If the country is now working together, they cannot succeed. You see, they attack Niger and they go back to Burkina Faso. They attack Burkina to go back to Niger. And the country decide to fight them together. They decide if one country is attacked, he can follow terrorists 15 uh, kilometer in the in the, the other country. This is one thing uh, bring by G5 Sahel, and I think what we are seeing now is making that the only way to succeed is to work together. Sahelian country and Gulf de Guinea countries they have to to work together. Uh, the Sahelian Sahelian country have just G5 Sahel. Even if uh, it's not working, for me the, the G5 Sahel uh, is the problem. Uh, have a link between the problem with France and Mali, as you know, uh, the head of staff summit have to take place in Mali, and the other country decide not to go to Bamako, and there is an internal crisis in G5 Sahel. But uh, uh, I hope and uh, many many. Uh, people in Sahel area call for the uh, G5 Sahel to come back uh, to Mali, to come back in G5 Sahel and continue fi fighting against terrorists. If the G5 Sahel uh, take his uh, place and they now they build a initiative Dakra, you see, Accra initiative, which is regrouping 
uh, Gulf de Guinea country like uh, Benin, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, uh, Togo, they will have a join with G5 Sahel and Initiative Dakra to build a regional response because this crisis now be, is a regional crisis and we have we have no choice the re, the, the response the good response will be regional and i think the country and the african leaders of this area they have in mind that they have to build a regional response if they want to succeed if, even the country like nigeria cannot succeed if he is alone but if we work together we can build something which can help us to succeed against the, this terrorist group in Sahel and in Gulf of Guinea.